Bro, I thought I forgot about you guys today. This is not true. We had a crazy night last night. Thank you for your prayers on Wednesday. My daughter is still not feeling well, um, but we went to Nationwide Children's Hospital last night, did a bunch of scans, and there's nothing wrong with her from that standpoint, so God be praised. Um, we can still pray that she feels better. Yeah, that's Christian in the background. You're probably wondering, 1037 Friday, Christian in the background. Yeah, last night's whole uh, going to the hospital, getting back at 3 a.m. in the morning, um, I thought I was going to take the day off of work, but I'm heading into work because uh, we had some business account things go awry. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about Jeremiah. And in Jeremiah, we have, uh, we have um, Jeremiah. He's in front of uh, God, and God's given him a bunch of nasty stuff that he has to go tell the people. And God says something pretty cool. He says, even if Moses and Samuel were to be in front of me right now pleading on behalf of Israel, they would not be able to change my mind on, on what's coming for Israel. Now this is re it's really interesting because we hear about Abraham a lot. Um, we know that when Jesus was on the mountain, Moses and Elijah appear with him. So you, you throughout the Bible, you hear these accounts of different characters coming back into the, uh, the scene. And it's usually God that's bringing them back in, right? Um, so Samuel and Moses is an interesting uh, combination, right? Because we, we've already had Abraham, Jacob, Elijah, Joseph, uh, you know, uh, Isaiah. I mean, we've had all these people, uh, David, Solomon. I mean, all these people have existed. Uh, but God specifically calls out Moses and Samuel, um, which is pretty cool. I think it's cool. So uh, Christian's calling me. I will let you go. Uh, enjoy your Fridays.